Okay, it says we're live. Anybody there? I'm here, brother. I wait for you. Cool. So we're live now, and uh, I'm not seeing my screen, so that's interesting. I'm gonna go over here to Instagram. Say go. I'm live. waiting for you. When you see you're live, then you let me know, and then I'm put you. Then I'll put you live. Uh, it said it's live, so uh, just trying to see the screen. How do I see the screen here? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, let me just try there. Okay, so there's that. Now where's me? Did you have to refresh or anything? I didn't do anything. I was just waiting for you. <laughs> good. Yeah, you said that a couple times now, so we're good with that. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, let's see. So let's see. Um, I like your comedic uh, thing there. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. Is my camera not showing for some reason? I'm gonna I'll go live when you're ready. That's what I'm saying. Just let yeah. me know. Well, basically, we were live, but uh, but I guess also. Well, you're not. We're not live on the radio yet, and you're not live on my stream. That's what I'm saying. Just let me know when you're when you want to be live, and then I'll put you live. Yeah, everywhere. it's a minute, twelve minutes live already. But so now, to get actually, why would mine not be showing yet? If I refresh, what's going to happen? Uh -oh. You're going to lose it. Well, no, you won't lose everything. You just got to go back into it again. It says you are live. Yeah, I'm going to. Um, what are you not seeing? Tell me. Me. <laughs> You're not That's seeing like you. Your, your camera's not go there. Into, I'm going to go into it from. Uh, and you didn't touch screen. anything, right? You didn't touch a thing. Correct. Yeah, wonderful. Well, these <laughs> These things tend to okay, so there I am, but not on the other one. Let's see over here. Hmm. If I refresh it, that's probably what needs to be done, but interesting, interesting. Add to stage. There you come. Oh, hopefully something's coming up. Well, coming up. That's that's uh, that's the video. Yeah. So <clears throat> that's the other. So I don't want to do that actually. Put that off of there. Get me back on. You probably have to just find where the camera is. Just click on camera. So layout. Remove. Well, there's a stop cam cam option. Yeah, your cap. Yeah, your stop cam is on. You gotta stop put the screen. camera mirror my camera. Well, you know, some sort of little thing. Orientation settings are disabled while live. Okay. Well, who the hell? Did, I didn't touch anything. <laughs> no, that's not what it said. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go back over here. Over here. I don't want to leave the studio. Present, share screen. So that's already happening. So I go over here to. Um, oh, I see. So share, I the see. share the screen. Let's go over here to YouTube. Why not? Let's get a little. What's the next one? I like that dance the matter way. Now we got to come up. Get an awful love on the efficient Ford hybrid and see. Let that play a little bit. That's the stream yard. Are you live? Or not yet? Well, the music is, but I'm not on. I mean, no, I know. I want you live. That's what I mean. When you're live, let me know. Yeah, you and me both. Well, I'm going to be fresh. Just find your camera and put the camera on. Should be um... on. Okay. Uh, You can hear the music. Gene, you can hear the music. I can hear the music, yes. Oh. 
Live, my friend. Oh yeah, we're just capturing it all here. Just, uh, no, we're live on the radio now. We're live everywhere. Oh good. So let's see. Oh, that's what I want to do. The back there. But you would that sound? Let me from Van Halen. Who doesn't love Van Halen? Especially when you're dancing the night away. Okay, good. I can check my hair all day here. Live on my Facebook page right now. Cool. Let's keep that going. Commercials and everything. One more while we kind of get situated here. We need to have a commercial. We want the commercial. Money with AI. This is not too loud. Don't worry. AI. Oh yeah. Sponsor. They should be a sponsor now. Oh yeah. We have a show if we're just playing Van Halen the whole day, to be honest. 
I want to tell you the easiest and fastest way to make get a get report. the paid version going here. Hey, Gene, how could somebody call in if they need to? All right, I'll give you the number. Hold on. We got Gene here, producer of Hamilton Radio. Wow. It's this is our first show, show, guys, too. Oh, yeah. I'm looking for the British Airline. I'm looking for the British Airline. I've been sitting here about half the night. I'm on the field, my cup up. I came here to waste some time. I think I'm gonna jump up. I'm singing, I'm dancing, but never did night. I want to do that with you, babe. Let's do this fun, alright? Oh, oh, baby! Are you ready for another awesome jump kill? Here we go. Pretty maids all in a row. Go on, set them up. Mama, 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 Gino. Come on, are you a Van Halen fan for real? Oh, always. Always. Since day one. Yeah. Oh, come on, listen, Eddie. Now, I found it interesting. Eddie kept playing here when uh, he was supposed to sort of stop. And I had a little uh, disagreement with Michael Anthony during the day about that. But you can hear where Eddie's going to keep playing right into the drum fill. Not like the intro. I can't, I can't hear you because you're over the music. I can't talk. Okay. Music's too loud. Eddie Biddy's going to make a mistake right here. Keep playing. So they left that in there that Eddie just kept playing right into the drum fill as opposed to the intro where he stopped and let the drum fill come in. Right, right. I find that interesting. It's cool. You know, they're like live performance right in the studio. Awesome, bro. Awesome. Woohoo. Look at that hair. It's just out of control. Not mine here. <laughs> cool. So, um, and if somebody did want to call in, where would they be calling to do? And then. Yeah, they're calling to me, and then I just shared a number. And I just share the when they call. Cool. And where do we find that number? Is that posted? Anywhere? I put it on the thing for you. I put it on your screen here. Uh, under comments, I think private chat. Okay. Let's see here. Oh yeah, there's a number people can call there. So there you go. Did you know? So they would call YouTube and you would answer and put them on. Every single. True. I have a YouTube that I never I'll put them live right on the radio, right on the air. Right on. This is some of the best drumming you'll hear on Out of Love Again, Alex Van Halen. We'll just let this play in the background. We're just kind of chit chatting and doing our thing. I'm not sure if I look funny because I'm used to seeing myself in a mirror as opposed to it. I just look funny. Oh, man, Alex Van Halen tearing it up. You know, I'd love to hear from Alex Van Halen again. I can't imagine, though I can imagine some of the pain and frustration he might be feeling losing a brother with your bandmate for all that time. So let's see, I think I have an ability to give us a call. If you want to get on the show and talk a little bit. I love this thing. Oh. oh, there's a bing boom coming up next. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. I should be able to post that number. I remember seeing that. You could do that under banners. Uh, his name is, what the producer was, Ted Templeman, right? Uh, well, I believe so on this record. 
Yeah, I think it's Ted Templeman. Okay, so this here is really cool. Oh, it's just, a, just a simple little humor. There's humor in their music also. Party band, fun band. Let me see if we're on YouTube too, go ahead. Should be on YouTube too. Yeah, I see people going live on different platforms all the time. Whoever don't want to hop on in, we got to gain some listeners. This is playing somewhere on uh, iHeartRadio. We right? are as well. And Roku. Any idea how they would actually find it on those places? Roku is easy. Um, just basically look for Hamilton Radio. Um, Hamilton well, Radio Oldies on under Roku, under Live 365. computer. From 9 a.m. Oh. to 10.45 a.m. Oh, look, you're going to be here. Okay. I can show you one simple <laughs> trade. Good information. In fact, I, uh, I could go and get the commercials handled right now, actually, I think. Let me try that. That would be a good idea. I'd just do it live on the air right now. Why not? You know, we got the Van Halen playing. And uh, YouTube, a video sharing company. We are live everywhere. Yeah, anything can happen. It's amazing. I'm going to go find my subscriptions, purchases, and memberships. I was trying to do this last night, and it was like, man, pulling teeth sometimes. <laughs> you, you like that expression? The things you have to work through, right? Oh, I guess you've been through it. That's probably why you're laughing at we have been through, been through it many times, but that's okay. <laughs> Every day we're going through it. I got to see if I can get my buddy, one of my friends in here to listen to you. He's doing a live too. That's bad though. <laughs> and then Rick Diotto, he's great. Oh, good. Let's Looks see. like I just got the uh, upgrade on YouTube. So we might not be having commercials anymore. I'll go to my channel and see if we're actually on there. View your channel. Should be. Yeah, it's live, baby. Look at that. <laughs> How exciting. And there's companies now that are marketing to me to get your own podcast and let us help you set it all up. And it's like, well, I just started over here with Yeah, I know. Radio. Yeah, and so now we're with Hamilton Radio doing our show, and we can record it. It gets recorded automatically, right? Yeah, it's going to be the audio portion will be done, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the audio portion. Well, the screen yard, I would think we have the video going, too. Well, the video, too, but yours is recording, too. Yours is recording, too. Yeah. Oh, here's a drum solo I did in junior high. Part of it. Light up the sky, baby. Yeah, seriously, in junior high. This album came out. I was in junior high, and I was playing in a band with um, Michael Anthony's younger brother. And for our Arcadia, well, Dana Junior High is where I went to school. Cool. And, Very uh, cool. So we had the uh, the band concert, and uh, Mr. Farr. Look, no more, no commercials. Way to go, Peter Maselli sponsor helped us out with that just now. He'll be on the show. But um, so we had we were practicing in the band, 
marching band and the orchestra. This would have been the orchestra. And um, Mr. Farr knew I wanted to play drums because I was a guitar player. I mean, I was a trombone player. And uh, I'm listening to Eddie Shred here. Yeah, I gotta love it. So I was Amazing. a trombone player. Yeah. And Mr. Farr says, well, fine, yeah, you can take the drum class or whatever, but you're not gonna change instruments. Uh, because we need the trombone player players. I said, ah, that's fine. And then I really started rocking the drums and he's all like, okay, you can be a drummer and teach the other guys. So he gave me a class to, to teach the other guys and girls. <laughs> And uh, the next thing you know, I was in a band with Michael Anthony's younger brother, and Dan Ruin. Uh, and we had some original stuff. He's like, yeah, you guys should play at the show. And I, and he had me play in uh, the Rocky theme. Can you hear me okay? Can yes, I can hear you. Or should I turn it down a little bit? Turn it down a little bit more. Right about there, man. Or is that too loud? It's all right. For the police man. So, um, Mr. Farr uh, had me play uh, drum solo. It was either in the middle of Jesus Christ Superstar or the Rocky theme. So I'm all nervous. And what am I going to do for a solo? You know, so I did some of that Alex Van Halen stuff from Light Up the Sky. And then, uh, Anything else I could throw in there that I'd learned in my drum lessons at Dr. Music from Pasadena. Shout out. Uh, Jim Vesney is my drum instructor there. And, uh, oh, let's get you in here a little bit. There. Or, um, let's see. What looks better? So good. It's good to have that Van Halen song, too. I could just switch it up. But anyway, so we did this concert in the cafeteria, and I did the drum solo. We finished the song, either with Rocky or Jesus Christ Superstar, and it's got a standing ovation. And I, whoa, that's the last thing I was expecting. I was just trying to get through the song and help the band get through the song, so that was like a real... What do you call that? A milestone, pivotal moment, pivotal moment. So then we went and did that at uh, different schools around town, or at, uh, at the pep rally, or something like that. And I picked up like a drum student, <laughs> yeah. my, friend, my friend Scott, and he became a real great drummer. But I taught him for the first little while. I think it was ten bucks back then for a lesson. You know, and mom would write a check. That was cool. We grew up in Arcadia, and that's uh, Van nice. Halen, uh, Michael, Michael Anthony was over there on uh, his family over there on the 8th Avenue in Arcadia, and then we had the Van Halen boys over in Pasadena. But right down the street from me in Arcadia there was my older brother's best friend, Joe, Joe Ramsey, rest in peace. But... Man, there's so many stories to talk about here. But he was like the main managing factor for Dread Zeppelin. And Dread Zeppelin is where we world toured. So I world toured with Dread Zeppelin. Maybe I should pull up some Dread Zeppelin now. We're talking about Dread Zeppelin, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is going to be fun, fun, fun. Talk and share. I'm getting the idea, too, because I can have different tabs open. And uh, yeah, I've got one like playlist. It's like a hundred open here. Yeah, I got the, the playlist here for um, the stuff with me and Dread Zeppelin, just you know, because they've done a lot of stuff since. But where is it? I just shared it yesterday. Somebody said, Oh, I've got your record. I get your autograph. I'm like, Yeah, that's cool because I'll meet somebody and they'll. Dread Zeppelin, oh, that sounds familiar. Like, 
maybe it's Led Zeppelin, or they've heard of it, or they actually own the record. So you get all these cool different responses. So where is mine? Oh, this is beautiful though. It's burning in love. Here. It's just so nice. Yeah, so cool. Yeah, it's so great. I love that Van Halen. I was listening to it on the road like every day. Van Halen with me in my headphones while we're on tour with Red Zeppelin, which I'm sure the playlist is here somewhere. I'm going to find it. Gosh. You know, when you're looking for something, it sometimes disappears. Yeah, there it is. So I'm going to turn that one down. All right, so we're going to go over here and share this other screen. Share this tab. Look at that. We got Dred Zeppelin with me, the drummer. <laughs> so with that, we got into that story a little bit because of uh, growing up in Arcadia and my older brother Charlie being best friends with Joe Ramsey down the street. Um, and they're nine years older than me. But when I saw them doing, I was, I was, geez, Joe, we go big way back, you know, because uh, he had different things going on in Arcadia and Pasadena, but uh, in different projects. They had the Prime Movers was their original band. Okay. And um, they had other bands before that with uh, the Item and the Cyclones. And I was going to be in the Prime Movers, but I had to make a choice between going to college um i went i went i chose to go to ucla instead of uh looking back i might might have made maybe gone to pcc pacific city college and that's where uh, the van halen boys went and that's where joe and them you know used to probably run into each other and they're all in the local rock scene pasadena and arcadia so anyway then um I went to UCLA and then uh, back in town, it's, uh, Dred Zeppelin, like 88, 89, started to play. And I'm like, wow, I'd love to play with them. And then the next thing you know, I'm being offered to play in Dred Zeppelin. Let's see, something happened over here on Instagram. What happened there? It's all good, I hope. Um, yeah, it seems like it's going live still. Right? So then I started rehearsing with Dred Zeppelin. And um, because I, I heard that the other drummer wanted me to get a job or didn't want to necessarily go on the road, have a girlfriend. And um, I asked him about that later, years later. He's all, no. I'm like, huh? So that's a little bit uh, touchy subject. <laughs> 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 But anyway, speaking of touchy subjects, here we are, Dred Zeppelin, and we go on the road. Well, we're playing all around L.A. and selling out shows, and MTV comes and films it. So let's see. Do we have an original MTV filming here? We were on Beavis and Butthead at one point. Robert Plant talking about us. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, I'll start playing some of this stuff. Oh, yeah. Sure. And uh, and Tortelbus, our singer, singing with Robert Plant there. I mean, this is this is like too much right here. <laughs> Where do you hear that? That's really good. Uh, <clears throat> they got two singers. Wait, let's back that up. Volume. I got to turn the volume up. Is my volume all the way up on this? Come on, something's in the way there. Volume is up. My favorite right now is Dread Zeppelin. Watch this. My favorite right now is Dread Zeppelin. I've got it in the car. That's really good. Uh, <clears throat> they got two singers. One's a kind of 
sings after the reggae style and the other guy thinks he's Elvis. And so when they do things like Black Dog, it, um, the guy sort of, hey, hey, mom, the way you move, I'm going to make you sweat. I'm going to make you groove. And then it goes into reggae music. It's fantastic. <laughs> oh, I got Black Dog by then. Is it? Well, since my baby left me, I'll find a new place to dwell. That's something else. It's down at the Wall <laughs> Street at Heartbreak Hotel. Down, 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 down. <laughs> down, 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 Great stuff. Marvelous. Great stuff. Marvelous, he says. How cool is that, huh? <laughs> Robert Plant promoting your band. Dun, 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 dun. And then, yeah, here we are on Beavis and Butthead. Check it out. It's that fat dude that's always on the cover of those cool newspapers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Monty said, fart really deaf and have a wiener. <laughs> those newspapers are oh. cool. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Beavis. I heard that, like, Robert Plant isn't really dead. No way, but it, this guy like like uh, got all fat and then he like died on the toilet. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's the way I want to go. Yeah, yeah. That's like that's like how I always go. <laughs> Except, you know, like when I'm outside and stuff. <laughs> what are you talking about, Beavis? So anyway, yeah, that's on my YouTube channel. There are all these videos. I forgot. Beavis and Flathead. <laughs> we were on this one here. Uh, it's like a Saturday Night Live in France. You turn it up? Why not? <laughs> I'm on the back. Hey, the joke. Here's Joe. There's John Paul Joe. There's Joe, the one I was about. So that's Joe right there, the one uh, I was talking about. Right. He lived on the street uh, next over. So cool. That's me playing the drums. Look at that. Woo I grew my hair out. <laughs> well, I'm on the road now, so I'm going to grow my hair out. I didn't realize I could have cool long hair. You have to get through the middle of the hey. No, that's really you on the drums? Yeah. Let's see. I'm, what am I, I'm hearing some playback. Here. Oh, uh, my Facebook page is uh, repeating minutes later. 
Yeah, they gave a little, uh, they say they're blocking some of the content. Told you. Yeah. Well, we do what we do. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Like in France, they kind of like their own version of Saturday Night Live over there. <laughs> well, what was I saying? So many stories. We got Joe down the street. It gets. I got in Dred Zeppelin with him and the other boys. We're out on the road there and uh, doing all this stuff. So cool. Yeah, thanks. Oh, I always wanted to play guitar, too. I had a guitar in my hand the whole time. So we did this in Canada and switched instruments because we were just playing the tape. See, and John Paul Joe's on drums back there. Mm -hmm. and you can see, I'm going to be on uh, guitar here. This, this guy's funny here. But boy, he's always wearing a speedo. He'd wear nothing. If he could. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's and we're playing the Rover with this song. Jailhouse Rock with the Rover by Led Zeppelin. The band was jumping in a joint, began to swing. You should have heard those knockdown jailbirds sing a little rock. Everybody, let's rock. Everybody in a whole cell block. They were standing to the jailhouse rock. Little Joey playing tenor saxophone. Little sloppy blowing on the slide trombone. <laughs> he said slap the trombone. He's calling, he's calling our conga player Scrappy. So he's <laughs> You know what ticks me off, though? All right, freeze right there. Okay, that's me having my day. Oh, I'll get to pretend play the guitar. Um, but then they go to the the guitar solo. And they're on the wrong guitar. I'm like, oh man, you're supposed to be over here on me. <laughs> but anyway, me, 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 me. But no, this was a great privilege to be in a band that gets the world tour. And we had packed shows everywhere we went. And uh, it'd be great to do that again. In fact, I, they were, I almost played guitar with them. I went over there and we played a little bit, but that didn't work out, uh, at least yet. You know, there's always a possibility someday. But, um, yeah, so doing the Dread Zeppelin. Let's see what happens here. Ah. It's like a show for reminiscing. <laughs> oh, that's what I was going to say. The, my, the first drummer's name was Cheese. So when I came in, they said, mm -hmm. oh, we're going to call you Fresh Cheese. So my stage name was Fresh Cheese. <laughs> so cool. Yeah. And then uh, this was the song I played on the first album. Uh, Cheese played all the other songs, like nine songs on this album. And then they hadn't finished. So we did Black Dog, and I came in and played drums. And, uh, well, five minutes long. But on this record, it says the drums are by Fresh Cheese and Cheese. Oh. Probably can't hear me so um, On this record, it says the drums are by Fresh Cheese and Cheese. And so everybody thought my name was Fresh Cheese and Cheese. 
as opposed <laughs> to the drummer. That was kind of funny. All these funny stories. Here's, let's have a drink from the gallon. Yeah, so this is great. This is Black Dog done in a reggae. This is what Robert Plant was singing. Oh, I like the way you shake that thing. Watch honey drip. I can't keep away. See how the beat just kind of keeps going there. Right. And um, it's good because you can also improvise and throw in different verses and, and just keep the reggae going, man. But anyway, so uh, in fact, we were at a, I think it was called the Sun Fest or something like that. That's kind of like a, a reggae festival. And um, we are playing Red Rock out there in uh, yeah, Colorado. We're at the Red yep. Rock Amphitheater, Red Rocks. And the reggae is kind of a, like a religion to reggae folks. <laughs> But we didn't like that we were kind of joking around and having, you know, like a novelty act with reggae and mixing it up like this. So that's the only place we had like a little bit of a challenge. All of a sudden, there's a few songs into it and some mustard and ketchup bottles are flying overhead. <laughs> so we cut that show short, but um, it was great. Boy, what a venue. And... Um, we did another few shows for that same festival. It was pretty good. But for three years, we world toured that thing. Oh, cool. And then they kept going for over 30 years afterwards, doing uh, some changes in the lineup, different people. Even Tortelvis, the singer, was uh, left for a little while, and they did a disco version. See, now there's another story there. Why is he called Tortelvis? Because his last name is Tortell. And he's doing an Elvis. He says, I'll be Tortell this. <laughs> and he was a drummer also back in high school, a couple years ahead of me. He was a good he tried, he tried to do the John Bonham drum part. Oh, yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah, but come to find out, Bonham plays it with fewer notes. So I'm used to doing it that way. He does it like a one note less in each dude. But anyway, this is cool. Here comes a reggae guy. Ed Zeppelin. I, man, was, am walking down the street. The woman offered me plastic pie. The cream on the pie and up to the sky. A morning caught the slice of the pie. Morning taste pie. Me eat it all the time. And what the cat is having. No, I man don't do it with no coke. The only thing for me now is pie. What do you call that? A, a double meaning or something? I don't like that kind of talk around here. But... Yeah, there was a double meaning. Or it was custard pie. Oh, but then they played the riff. Carl Jaw here played the riff from custard pie right there. For, for the so this was a lot of fun mixing different elements. You got your Led Zeppelin and the reggae and the Elvis. Doing a couple of things. It was Elvis. But not Hound Dog, Black Dog. I got the dog barking. We had the dog barking in the, on the tape also uh, at the live show. It was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. It's very, very entertaining. Entertaining. Very much. Cool. 
Yeah, so much to say. Then you put on your glasses. I didn't bring my Elvis glasses to Idaho. I hope they're safe in my storage unit in Los Angeles. But um, when I put the glasses on, I'm thinking I'm going to be able to see better because I also have my reading glasses. But no, it's, it's necessarily see better. But then um, I'm jumping all over the place. But uh, after my experience trying to play guitar with Dred Zeppelin, I said, my God, that is a lot of fun. And the whole rest of the world needs to have Dred Zeppelin again. We should be taking this on the road, you know, world mm -hmm. touring again. And I don't think um, Tortel was, is particularly too interested in that, you know, because we'd be on the road and after a couple of weeks, it'd be like, oh, my gosh. But we didn't have cell phones back then or laptop. Um, but he's also got, I think, three kids now and you know, wife and family, and they've already done it for so many years. Mm -hmm. but for me, it would be like a thrill again. So I put together my own. I said, well, if you guys don't want to do it, I'm going to do Fresh Zeppelin because my name is Fresh Cheese. I do Fresh Zeppelin. So I was doing that, and I was looking around for Elvis singers who could be my Elvis guy. And I, I had a couple guys for a little bit. We did a show, a couple different shows. And then I said, I was auditioning guys too. And I said, well, you go, her, her, mama said the way you move. And I like, wait a minute, I'll just be the Elvis guy. So then I'm being the Elvis guy and playing guitar, which is a little tricky. It's better to have my Jimmy Page with me. So we played the whiskey for a show, needed a lot more rehearsal. And, um, but I look forward to doing that again now that I'm like kind of got energy back and uh, going for that's another story. You know, having your health is really important. And on the road, it was always always a challenge to try and not be fatigued. <laughs> but that's the mixed bag because you know you're not only you're performing your show and then you need your rest, but then you've also got the all the you know stay out and party all night or yeah tour bus and and um you know so on and so forth so but i was younger then too but i was still back then was trying to have health and, and energy and, um so just this past year or two years i kind of hit a wall when it came to um, fatigue and uh i came out here to Coeur d'Alene idaho with my family and uh we found a natural uh, practitioner, Dr. Rob, out there at AlternaCare. And I sent in a hair sample, and they did like a biometric test, and they found, oh, yeah, you got some things we need to clean the body out, you know, whether like, whether like a fungus or mold, toxins, little parasites, reading. But none of this stuff was being found by the medical doctors. They don't look for it. Well, and unless you ask, and then I had them look for parasites, and I said, "Hey, can you check for metals?" And you know, like, like, kind of look at me like, "What? We're we talking? We're we gonna check your, you know, your B vitamin and your D vitamin, and you know, a few other things." Like, well, that's great, but what about all these other toxins and things? It's like, and something has to be really out of whack for it to be on their radar. So that's why I've been into natural uh, healthcare and stuff. So we got this test, and it's like, yeah, you got this going on, and here's what we're going to do about it. You're going to take the, the adrenal support and the brain support and the gut support and the liver shake, and then a lymphatic. The lymphatic system is the one that kind of empties out, the, helps clean the blood and so forth. And, boy, once I started taking the um, their fungus mold killer, and the parasite stuff, whoa, I'm starting to feel symptoms. And I had to go to the bathroom. And then I went and it's like my brain fog lifted. It was like mid-December. And I started this program mid-September doing the health stuff. And then we started taking right. the, the supplements for those specific things. And finally, we got the root cause at that point. So... Now it's just been a progression since to increase strength and so forth. And I'm taking the pills again to uh, keep eliminating, you know, because there's a ways to go with all this stuff and get in shape and all that. But anyway, so, we, so we're back on, we're on the road. And I'm trying to have my strength and stamina, and uh, but now I've got it again. And so I'm looking forward to 
doing some things like uh, fresh Zeppelin again. Right now I'm in Idaho and we're doing um, different uh, projects. You know, I got the disco band. My Oh my gosh, so much to talk about. I got the Booty Shakers disco band and uh, the fresh Zeppelin possibilities, classic rock stuff. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, all these creations. So let me go back to my page and see, see if I dare show a little bit of fresh Zeppelin and uh, get my playlists. Yeah, was, uh, that was the disco band we played at the Whiskey there. But it's so fun doing the uh, Dread Zeppelin, the Reggae Led Zeppelin with the Elvis. But it, it's better when you make, get it tight. <laughs> Because we had it tight in Dread Zeppelin while I was in the band. How long was that band together, Paul? Well, like I said, I world toured 89 to 92. So that's three years. But then at least another 30 years. I mean, even today, they could still out, go out and do shows. And I wouldn't mind. I'd love to be on drums and or guitar uh, or even uh, funning around with the Elvis guy. I, I said that to Tortelvis once, sent him a message. He said, like, I don't think so. <laughs> but he was in the creating, you know. And if the uh, money was there, I think. It was. Well, yeah, that would that would help. <laughs> and it could be that's there. everybody's be motivating. Else. Yeah, that's everybody's motivating factor is the money. Believe me. Well, and that's the thing too. You have to. Uh, it's marketing again. So if we market it and promote it then something can happen. And I was excited about it at the time. Um, looking for this darn playlist again. Fresh Cheeses tribute to Dread Zeppelin. Maybe it's on there. There's my playlist. Well, that's all good. Yeah, like everything, it comes back to marketing. So it's certainly sure good. <laughs> Yeah. And then it's a matter of everybody does want it to happen and who's involved. So come on now. Red Zep, Fresh Zep, Fresh Zep. There we go. A fun part of our show was also um, show me the playlist, doll darn it. Fun part of the show is um, Tortelvis being a drummer would come and kick me off the drums and do the drum solo in Moby Dick. <laughs> so, a long solo. Yeah, he would just do kind of part of it. And uh, oh, I see over here. So here we go. Fresh cheese on drums, Moby Dick, Fresh Zeppelin. Yeah. I wasn't. See, I wasn't being the Elvis guy there yet. We have an Elvis guy there, and I just was being fresh cheese on guitar. But I went ahead and hopped on the drums for a minute. Then we did kind of a little uh, drum off thing.
So anyway, it's hard to watch yourself sometimes. <laughs> 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 but anyway, yeah, so there's a lot of potential there with all these things. Go back into it. So that's that. So we got just a few more minutes here, right? Yep. And uh, let's see how I can get that. I actually like this a whole lot of love. I'm playing guitar in this one. And this is fresh stuff. Yeah, at least somebody liked it. She was screaming there a little, huh? Yeah. Maybe I'll sing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Oh, I tell you, the, the creativity, the feeling, is like, it's mind-blowing. Because you're like, whoa, there's this part and that part. And some different elements, the Elvis and the Led Zeppelin and the reggae. Mm -hmm. So now I'm kind of addicted. Like, if, if we play a cover song now here, I got to mess with it. I got to, like, do a little reggae. Half time or double time in the ska or throw a little Elvis in there or something. So I'll get all good. So now we're going to be ending the show. You know what I want to end it with? Some kind of flipping. The boys. <laughs> this is where it all began. <laughs> Woo! That's now. Unbelievable. So anyway, what happens if we go here? Oh, I'm Mitchell Sinaway. I've been involved with film for. About That's not what years. I wanted to do. I wanted to go down to the next song. But anyway, boy, I could probably do this all day. But to be on the. Uh, <laughs> It's addicting, yeah. I tell you, it's very addicting. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, we're doing some Frampton here. I'm oh, I love here. Frampton. Where is the full album? The full album. Oh, I see. Just skip ahead. Right there, about there. Yeah. It's really yeah. Awesome. That's what we're doing. We're running with the devil, baby. Well, that's what I say all the time. Welcome to the jungle, because there's so much going on, right? Politics and everything going on, people. So we're going to... So our live streams are probably, at least I think um, on Instagram, it's had some challenges. So we're going to have some clips from this we could share and promote and market. We hardly even touch the scraps on the surface. So we'll uh, put the word out, get some guests on here. But geez, looks like I, could, like I said, I could keep talking and talking and sharing. <laughs> yeah. well, let's get those sponsors. Let's get some sponsors in here. We'll get some advertising going. And then Gene, let's. Uh, so what's going on? You, you're Hamilton Radio. 
when you're the program director, you want to yeah. know anything about what you got going over there? Yeah. <coughs> well, we got new shows coming up. Um, I'm working on new shows all the time, trying to keep everything fresh and and uh, happy. Um, working with a lot of different things. Uh, as you know, I was going to be working, hopefully, we'll see if we're going to be working with Fox Studios or not, but I got some programs I don't want to talk about too much on here because people steal your ideas, but yeah, uh, there's just ideas that we got going every which way. Um, I'm going to be in the film festival in New Jersey, April 20th. If people want to come out and see me in New Jersey, they can come out and say hi to me. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be one of the judges and an MC. So I'm excited about that. Um, a lot of my music guys are there. Stephen Keller, a great friend, and um, John Albino, who owns the radio studio or the music studio in um, in New Jersey. He's a great guy. Hopefully, I'll see them. But they're uh, music guys, and they know about all this stuff. It's great. Right on. We're always looking for new things, you know, new things. Try to change people's lives. Try to help them with whatever they're doing, businesses or whatever. Yeah. Well, we got some new things coming in here with me. Or what do you say? I think so. I think <laughs> that. I think that, that you know, there's some tweaks we got to make, but other than that, I think you're good, and I think that uh, people will enjoy your show. Oh, you know, yeah. especially yeah, especially the the part about musicianship because I have a lot of musicians that listen, a lot of musicians, and I'm sure you do too. Oh, yeah, and the biggest tweak is, uh, well, of course, the, the creativity and doing the show, but the marketing is, like, get reaching some audiences and get some the show popular and get your brand and your um, the radio station there, Hamilton Radio. It helps like, us both, man. It helps us both. Yeah, and that's your platform you're trying to grow, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Always growing. 28 years growing and still growing. And you, and you wouldn't mind more popularity and more sp and some sponsors, right? Not at all. Not at all. I don't mind anybody else adding to the uh, to the process of what right. we do. Well, cool. Always is welcome. Everybody's Always. welcome. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is our first step. It's been great to work through our first things and get get it done. And I'm I'm pretty thrilled about it. It's like wow, I'm gonna have to. Whew. filter all this take a walk and <laughs> and start editing and promoting and marketing yeah don't just just try to concentrate on one thing i know your your brain is like all over the place with certain things but try to concentrate on one thing and just uh work on that and then um it'll all it'll all work out it usually does oh yeah one way or another well the working on the one thing is uh, all my thing uh, but I know what you're saying. A lot of people talk about having niche, a niche. In fact, I was on a coaching training, and he's talking about that. But he says, you know what? Your niche is you and your brand. So this is all – that's what I love about having a radio show or a show. It's like it's an umbrella with me and all my things. So you know, there could be a segment more about this, segment more about that, especially when we have guests. But um, – they're going to be fun going, going all over all this stuff. Man, listen to that sound. That's just incredible. One of my favorite albums with Jamie's crying on it. Some freaking axe oh. on it. Yeah, that's too. Well, cool. So how do we uh, say goodbye? It's so hard. How to, how to Just, say goodbye. <laughs> Just say goodbye. I don't want to say goodbye. You got to you gotta say goodbye. <laughs> we just say we'll see you guys next week, and we'll see you all next week. And, uh, you know, we'll see what we have for you next week. Check in with us. Yeah, I got a friend here asking, how did your first show go today? So I got people to reply to. Um, and also, but to go live with you, we can only, like, really do that once a week. Is that right? Correct. Yeah, because I have other shows I do too. Cool. Well, all right. Thanks, Gene. And we'll be seeing everybody very soon, one way or another. Bye, everybody. This is the Ciao. Paul. This is the Maselli Show with Paul Maselli. That's right. Maselli Show. Ciao for now. Look for him in the future. Yes. 
You want me to come in? Okay, bye. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're off the air, my friend. Okay, I'm ending over here, too. All right.